everyone and welcome back finally to Wildlife Park 2 and I am so sorry that this episode is so late in coming. It has been so busy. It has been so so busy but I have kept this game in the back of my mind and I am so excited to come back to it. Look at the little zebra. Oh my gosh they're so cool. And the flamingos that wander in the distance. Look and there's some of the antelope. The gym broke way in the distance. Look at that flamingo fly to us. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, it looks like he just fell down like a ravine. I hope he's okay. But we are back in Wildlife Park 2 and we are continuing to learn how to play and manage the wildlife parks in this game. And it's been a very exciting experience so far. Last time we finished up a couple more missions and the missions are to help us kind of learn how to, how to really grasp a real good Con like way concept of how to play the game. We did a call from home in which we learned that guests have shopping needs and that we have to be very careful about where we put our little NPCs so that they work within a range because if they don't cover a certain range they can't repair fences which now have durability and the animals will indeed have babies so that's very exciting. And then we went to a famine in Arabia where we had to build greenhouses and wells and we had to have our own poultry farm to be able to, to supply food and water to our carnivores and herbivores and today we are moving on to pandas in need so I'm pretty interested about this one we are going to rescue a small panda family in China from the dangers of forest clearance which would be uh, like clear cutting or forest destruction so let's go ahead and start on that oh I'm so excited you guys I wonder what we're gonna do oh L lumbermen are making their way through the Chinese province of Shanzi. Unfortunately, nobody considered the fact that the giant panda bears still inhabit the clearance areas. And just really quickly, you guys, that wouldn't really happen in today's China because pandas are held in such high regard. They actually do protect vast swaths of areas where pandas currently live. So don't worry, China does care deeply for its pandas and is taking very good care of them. And they're making a resurgence, a big uptick in population in the wild recently. I think it's as high as almost 20% or so increase in wild populations in the last census they did. So this this is getting better in real life for once. It's exciting to be able to go, don't worry, in real life this is better. But right now it's not because we need to jump in and take care of these pandas. Huge parts of their habitat have already been destroyed and the pandas can no longer find sufficient food, which is a big problem. And just as a FYI again, with the wild pandas is one of the biggest problems they face is actually horses will eat bamboo and so horses that uh, farmers will turn out into the forest to roam wild and get fat because they, they're used for horse meat usually will eat all of the bamboo and then the pandas won't have any so that is a big problem in real life so we'll pretend a bunch of horses came through. Now a rescue program has been initiated and you are responsible for coordinating the project. You should make haste and ensure that the pandas are well and safe. All right. So I see the pandas. I'm not exactly sure what we need to do. I'd love to munch some bamboo. I would love to swim a bit. So it seems like we need to get some bamboo down. And they also want to swim a little bit. So let's see. It's, for once, it's not guiding us very much. Okay, um, what if I, can I make a spot with water? Oh, that's just to like lower the terrain. What if I wanted to smooth the terrain out? Oh, that's right, because to make them swim, you have to go and get a well. So that's a drinking trough. And here's a water pump, that's what we need. So we'll put the water pump down. And it's been activated. There we go. All right, it's kind of filling this area up. Can we round off this terrain a little bit? Let's see, I think I need to make it, there we go. I hope the pandas can reach that. All right, so we tried to make a little bit of water for them. Uh, the ground is too soft for me. So what kind of ground would the pandas prefer? They like a hardness of the ground to be between 30 and 50 uh, hardness. So we're going to look for, let's see, terraforming tools, ground. And this is hardness of 50. And they want 30, and fi 30 to 50, I think. I'm so thirsty. I have little water spots for you, you guys. Maybe we should put down some drinking troughs. 
just to make sure they have something for a minute here. Are you okay? here? Here, here, I have, I have water. I have water right over here. So thirsty. Come here, baby. Oh my gosh, I don't think they're doing very well. Is there any water in the water trough? There's no water. How do I fill up the water? There's no water in the water trough. I can't remember. Is there a way I can fill it up? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Help, I'm starving. Okay, hang on. Oh my gosh, no one's guiding me. There's nothing. Panda 1 is on the verge of starving. Uh, we need bamboo. Okay, okay, hang on. Bamboo? Why doesn't it have food in it? Why doesn't it have food? Why doesn't it have water? Am I being taunted? I can't get plants. Can I get staff? All right, animal keeper? Oh, I can get an animal keeper. All right, what if I put him, whoops. Can I put you down anywhere, sir? Okay, we need to terraform. That's what I'm getting. Oh my goodness, this is this is kind of, kind of intimidating. Um, create plateau. Hang in there, little baby. All right, let's flatten it out. It's gonna be a little bit dramatic. Oh my gosh, I'm really worried now. All right, I'm gonna put down that animal keeper. And let's see. We're gonna put down bamboo all over the place. Come on, sir. No water reserves, no more bamboo reserves. Oh, I think we need to go ahead. Okay, water reserves. There we go. And then I guess we need a greenhouse. Oh my goodness. There we go. Greenhouse. And how do we get the maintenance on the greenhouse? Start producing that. So we need it to start producing. And then water. Start producing water. I think it's going to start... Are you making things? Alright, where's the, where's the gentleman? Is he, is he filling stuff up now? I'm doing well! Is he coming over to fill things up? Hang in there, guys! Okay, and they need, they need softer ground. Help, I'm starving, the baby says. Oh my gosh, come over here. There's food and there's gonna be water. Okay, we're getting there. Man, after having such, like, clear tutorials for so long, all of a sudden they're just like, no help for you! Hardness of ground needs to be 30 to 50. So what we really want is going to be more like the soft ground, the peat, the sawdust. Let's go ahead, add soft ground, and peat. Okay, so now the pandas aren't quite starving. There we go, we're gonna just put peat down everywhere. I wish I could put down wild bamboo, but it wants us to work on making a greenhouse, I think. Okay, there we go. It's got like a chain of production, which is very interesting. There. Is that better? Help, I'm starving. Why don't you fill up the food, sir? No more water reserves. Can I increase the water reserves somehow? Okay, water. I'm gonna- oh yeah, you can. Okay. So we're gonna increase the production on the water significantly. And I should probably increase the production. Where's the cost? Uh, there's the bamboo. Pandas eat a lot of bamboo, so we're gonna majorly increase that. And then we're gonna grab this baby who's about to die. Oh my gosh. No more pan bamboo reserves. Well, well, we should get some more. Come on. Help, I'm starving, he says. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Look, there's food right here. It's right in front of you, baby. Oh, thank goodness. I think he was on the verge of not making it. Oh my goodness. That was stressful. Okay, and how you guys doing? Now I would like to swim a little bit. Um, I think we need to make this easier for them to get into and out of. Random terrain, it says. Round off terrain. All right, and then I, I need to like round off the terrain. And we need to increase the range, I think. There we go. I would argue that that's much better. All right, we're gonna actually sell this and try again. Create a plateau. And then I'm gonna make a little 
lower terrain spot right here. That's not too dramatic. We're going to come in with the soft ground. Replace the soft ground. And I need... There we go. The water pump right there. And we'll see what happens. What kind of pool do we make if we so carefully managed it? All right. No more bamboo reserves. Well, hopefully we've got more coming because I did ramp up how much available. 11 kilograms. I'm just, I'm cranking it on up to 100. And let's hope that works. Oh, the greenhouses are so cool. All right, now I would like to swim a bit. Do you guys see the swimming? Do you see it? Um, or do they want like a pool or pond of some kind to swim in? Large drinking trough. There's shelter, an underground cave for energy. Water flow. What does that do? What do you do? Water flow, huh? Do I need to put you in the water? Interesting. I feel like, yeah, they want to swim. I'm doing well. Are you off to swim? Do you know that there's a spot to swim? All right, he's, he's moving down. <gasps> do we have a swimming panda? We had a panda who thought about it. And then he's like, nope. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're going to decrease the range. Maybe that'll help. And then we'll round off the terrain. Kind of awkward tools, but I'm hoping this will work. Round off the terrain, make it nice and smooth. All right, are you on your way to swim? Oh, there he goes, he's swimming! Yay, look at him! Oh, and his happiness, the satisfaction value is just going up through the roof. Now he's doing well. There we go. So now we just have like this one panda number one, cranky panda number one, who's worth a bazillion dollars. Oh my gosh, look at that. $225,000 is what this panda is worth. And I wonder what our mission here is. So let's look at this. Keep two pandas, achieve an animal satisfaction level of 100%. All right. Well, if you would swim, we could do that, my friend. Oh, look at that napping. And then if you check, okay, so swimming's good. Bamboo we're still adding to. Panda number one, do I need to like physically into the water you go? Is it not deep enough? I don't think it's deep enough for panda number one to swim. So this panda, apparently it was deep enough, but then we started changing things up. So let's go ahead and we're going to very carefully start lowering the terrain. Okay, and we'll make this area much deeper. And maybe that's what's needed for this male panda? Alright, what do you think about this, buddy? Oh, look at you go! Look at you go! And he's swimming! He's off! There we go! His swimming satisfaction went up. And we did it! There we go! Okay, so once I figured out that they weren't going to prompt us, that actually wasn't so bad. Congratulations! You have been able to save the panda family from sheer death. The Chinese government is deeply thankful and will make sure that everyone pays better attention to pandas in the future. If you would like to spend more time with the pandas, click continue. But we're going to go ahead on to the next mission. Pretty excited to see what this might be. I'm pretty darn curious. That wasn't so bad. All right. The American businessman John Smith is quite a wealthy man and pretty clever when it comes to dealing with financial matters. However, he knows nothing about animals. He has the business idea to construct a wildlife park in the middle of Montana. The park has been constructed, but it's not open to the public because the poor animals have lost their spark of life. Oh, that sounds dramatic. Oh my gosh. Um, Mr. Smith has assigned you to take care of things. Do everything and anything necessary to satisfy the animal needs. Once you arrive in Montana, you realize that Mr. Smith did not consider many of the things the animals require. Things are missing from all areas. Personnel, food, and extras for their enclosures. Okay, so you know what to do. Roll up your sleeves and make things a little more comfortable for the animals. I have no problem with that. Let's dive in. We're going to take good care of the little animals. Let's pause real quick and kind of check out what the situation currently is. So this is actually a really nice little wildlife park. 
Mr. Smith is definitely a very good businessman. He's got pavilions with attractiveness levels. He's got restrooms. Um, what the heck are these? Oh, they're bridges. Oh my gosh, look at the bridges. There's bridges. There's little like decorative areas with uh, Native American teepees. There's bin men. So he's clearly thinking a lot and very carefully about the people who are gonna come visit but I don't know if he's thinking much about his animals. Oh my gosh, there's nothing in the mountain goat exhibit. I need minerals. I miss my fellows. Oh, how I would love to return to the mountains. Oh, that's desperately sad. That is desperately sad. So let's look at this. All right, so he needs minerals. He needs to forge about two kilograms a day. He needs about one liter of water a day. He prefers highland environments, which is kind of interesting. Does that mean we need to come in here? I wonder if that means we need to come in here and make like a a raised terrain. Is that something the animals need? Is actually to have like little raised terrain bits? So we're gonna try that out. And then he misses his fellows. So Mr. Mountain Goat actually needs, female mountain goat, excuse me, Miss Mountain Goat, needs um, as some other mountain goats present. How many mountain goats to make up a herd? Size of a herd is usually two to tw or three to twelve. So we're gonna go ahead and add in three mountain goats. Look at them all float there. Oh my gosh! There you go, guys. Three mountain goats. I need to forge for food. The ground is too soft for me. I miss my fellows. So they should have the missing of the fellows calm down in a little bit. They need a hardness of ground, 70 to 100%. Ooh, so we want to see like gravel, apparently. Gravel's the only option that fits that. So we're gonna open up our range and put in some gravel everywhere for our mountain goats to make sure they're happy. Already it looks quite improved. And then they want to forge. So let's see what kind of food. They need water and forging materials. So we need, what's this? Grain feed, there's insects, there's stones to jump over, which sounds like it would be really fun for them. There's little drinking wells. So we're gonna put like some, well, I wonder if I can add some other things like troughs. Yeah, I can, look at that. Oh my gosh, partner video, partner caring. Oh my gosh, what is that? That is interesting. So here's feeding facilities and large feeding facilities. We'll put down a large feeding facility and then we'll put down, there we go, a little drink trough right there. Oh my goodness, look at all these things. And then what else do they need? Let me see, water to drink. Oh, they need minerals for sure. So we need to put down some minerals, maybe sprinkle them over here. So they've got a little bit of room and let's see, ground, temperature, free space, highland. Their highland environment is good now. Let's see, anything else about them? Let's come over here. Social matters, size of the herd. So it could be better, even now. So let's go ahead and we'll add in a few more. There, he's gonna have a lot of mountain goats. He's gonna come and be like, my mountain goats, there's so many. I would be very confused if I was him. Uh, I need to forge for food. Do we have, what's this? What's this man coming in here to do? Handyman one, I'm doing well. Do we have um, anyone, oh, the trees aren't even happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do we have anyone to care for the animals? Do he remember, it doesn't look like he remembered to hire animal keepers, bin men and everything. He was totally thinking from like, the point of view where he's going to come up. Raccoon one is trying to escape. Okay, we're gonna have to go take care of that. Animal keeper. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to put one way back here, and one... Uh, can I increase your guys' range? I think I can, because I need to put you like right here, sir, and increase, increase your work area. Let's see, increase work area. I don't think I can increase it any larger. Darn, okay, that's okay. This man's a smart businessman. He should have plenty of monies. So we're gonna go ahead and put him over there. All right, a raccoon is trying to escape. Oh dear, there's a broken fence. That is indeed a, a 
fence that is not stable. The raccoon is going to try to get out. Oh my gosh, he is like going nuts, this poor raccoon. Okay, we're gonna sell that piece. We're gonna keep it on pause till we fix all this, by the way. And then we're gonna get a stronger fence. There we go. Look at that, where we connected it. That's adorable. Okay, so there's a stronger fence. Now this poor raccoon, he would do anything for some raw meat. He wants to climb, he wants to swim, and he wants to eat some fruit. So let's see, we've got, we've got a nice little feeding facility of fruit. He needs some raw meat, so we're gonna put that over here. Um, he wants to climb, so let's see, climb. So let's give him a tree to climb. And let's go ahead, whoops. And I still wanna keep it paused because I'm worried. And let's see, there's no food. Oh, I think we need to get, I think we need to put down like some of the more the other facilities to like gain food items. Is that what I'm being told? There's no room, so there's no way. Like there has to be a way to be able to, like out here? Oh, there's a fish farm back here. Can I put things out here? <gasps> I can! Okay, we're gonna have to. All right, come here. Come here. Come on, greenhouse. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna put a greenhouse out here. And there's a poultry farm for me. I'm gonna put two of them out here. Oh my goodness, so it does have like this really complicated little chain of command. So we're gonna crank this up a little bit because he's a pretty rich businessman. He can afford this. When we're running our own place, it's gonna be a lot harder. And then we wanna do some fruit and we also need to do some forging material. And I bet we're gonna need to do vegetables and grains. So this is gonna be a really, really busy little greenhouse. It's gonna have to really pump it out. Now, do we have fish being produced here? We do not, so let's get some fish going there, and hopefully that'll work very well. All right. Fruit, I would like to swim a little bit, so let's make him a tiny little pond right over here. Hopefully, I should probably level that out a little bit and smooth it out a little bit, but hopefully this will be a good little pond for him. I'm glad we're figuring this out. This is this is really intriguing. I love the the detail and the depth. I can see how if you just wanted to throw a like zoo together really quickly, this could be very frustrating. But I'm one of those people who really really enjoy detail. Um, maybe round off the terrain a little bit. How are we gonna do this? Okay, what about this right here? Can I make more of that? Okay, now let's try. Where oh where is my little machine? There's a drinking trough. Uh, we're gonna need a drinking trough too, I suppose. What I need is you right there. So the raccoon will have something. He wants to climb, he wants to swim, he wants to eat fruit. Uh, the temperature free space ground, everything's good there. Climbing and swimming, we're working on food and meat. Uh, she doesn't have a mate. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her a mate so maybe they can keep themselves occupied. All right, and then let's come over here. Grizzly bear number one. Uh, he is happy with the highland, the ground, the temperature, and the free space. He needs to climb to scrape on things. Wants fruit, meat, and fish. Climb, swim, scrape. I want to eat raw fruit. So we need water, fruit, meat, and fish for this guy. So this guy needs quite a lot of things. So let's do fruit. Not vegetables, but we need fish. So you are you are one lucky, lucky bear because you're gonna have everything to eat. Fish, fruit, and raw meat. So we'll put those in here. And then you're gonna have a nice drinking trough and we'll put it up here. And then you, my friend, also need more fish, please. Something to scratch myself. So let's give you, let's see. That's training machine. Um, something to scratch yourself. Actually, that would probably be like the pile of sticks, right? Yeah, something to scrape against, the branches. So we'll give you a big pile of branches to scrape against. And double check again. Something to scratch, size of herds okay, fruit, meat, and fish. You need something to climb on as well. So let's get another tree for climbing. There we go. And then let's come over here 
and we have a beautiful puma. Oh, I love pumas. Looking for a fellow to clean our fur. I would love a hurdle to jump over. I want to climb. I'd do anything for some raw meat. So let's see. You need to be on hardness of ground 50. Ooh, 50 to 90. So you're on ground that is too soft. Hardness needs to be, there we go. This kind of ground. There we go. Man, he really needed an animal expert to come in and like start taking care of everybody. So I'm gonna put in a big drinking trough because we're gonna be adding in a partner. And then we need climbing instruments. So I'm gonna add in a couple of those. We need, I'm gonna put in like a couple things of raw meat. All right, raw meat, climbing, a jumping hurdle. So we're gonna put in some stones to give you something fun to jump over. I wish I could put in like lots of plants too. We'll work on that in, in increments. And then we need another. So this is a female? This is a female, yes. So now we need a male. And let's see how we have done. There's no fish or anything. So we're gonna ramp production on the fish farm up, I think. All right, fish farm production. We need to shoot that through the roof. Since this is just a tutorial, I don't feel bad like, oh, let's not worry about the money. Let's just make sure the animals are okay. There we go. So hopefully that'll work. This raccoon is still very cranky. I want to climb, it says. Can you climb? The other raccoon is swimming. Oh, look at him climb. Okay, so the raccoon is a little happier. The fence is, is put together. The handyman's coming by, I think, to fix the durability. The animal keeper is over here. He's doing well. Is he loading up the fish? Look at the handyman go, that's so cool. All right, let's see. No more meat reserves. I'm doing well. What? Ugh. His workload is 14%, 13%. We have no meat. This really sucks. Oh geez, I thought the bear escaped for a second and I was just about to freak out. I was like, ah, the bear, no, why? All right, bear. I know, we're trying to get you some fruit. We're trying to get you some fish. Look at the fish holder. Oh, that is just so cool. Do we have fish? Do we actually have fish for the, f oh, we had fish. Look at how cool it looks. Look at that! Oh my gosh, that looks so cool! Hey, Mr. Bear! Oh my goodness, this is pretty. Mr. Mr. Bear. I don't remember. Miss Bear, we have some fish. We brought you some fish. Do you want some fish? We also brought you some fruit. We should come over here. We're gonna have to ramp up the meat reserves, I think. All right, let's see. Come here, you. Oh, I didn't start the meat reserves. No wonder, at least this one. All right, we'll increase this one to 300. Total cost is 66. We've got so much money. That shouldn't be something we're worried about. And we'll increase this one up to 400. Just cause. There, so hopefully we'll have a little bit more food coming out for our animals. All right, how are the cougars doing? I'm doing well, they say. Well, I would love if they actually had some, like, freaking plants. Their, their exhibits are too bare, in my opinion. All right, so American Blue Pine Spurs. Attractiveness. Does it have, like, hardness of ground? 40 to 70 is what it tolerates. Well, we put in this ground, which is at 50. So American Blue Spruce, you should be okay. There we go. Now that makes me happy! Now you guys aren't just like all out and exposed. And speaking of being exposed, they probably will want shelters as time goes on. They're not asking for them right now. But they probably will want um, maybe underground caves. There's a large stone cave. Here's a tree trunk. Will you want a tree trunk or you want a cave? I wonder. Oh, and they're jumping, that's awesome. So what kind of, does it mention offspring, gestation time? It doesn't really mention what kind of like energy thing they would want. In fact, it doesn't mention anything about their energy anywhere here, but I'm pretty sure we'll just put something in here and see how they react to it. So let's go with 
a stone cave or a large stone cave. Oh my gosh, that is really cool looking actually. There's not room for it. I wish there was room for it. But we'll put a little stone cave at the back here. See what they do with it. All right, animal contentedness has gone up to 94%. We have a huge herd of little mountain goats here. Is there anything we could add? They have like really, really high hardness. What the, is the hardness? The hardness is 80 that they're standing on. Live oak needs 50. American uh, bir river birch needs 50. This one, American beech needs 50. Douglas fir, 40 to 60. Giant, giant sequoia, 30 to 50. 70, 70, 40, 60, was it, was it 70? It's 80. You guys don't get anything. You guys don't get anything in terms of like trees and plants because I don't have anything that'll work for you. All right, and let's see. I wonder if a shelter so they can get out of the rain would be well done in their case. So we might need to flatten the ground a little bit. Let's go ahead and create a plateau. I'm gonna increase the range. Come on, increase the range. And there we go. They still have some hilly areas, but I'm pretty sure a place to get in out of the rain would not be, would not be opposed by these guys. So there you go, little mountain goats. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. They're, they're doing well, it says, but are they happy? Are they thriving? Water to drink. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, everyone's happy. Congratulations. John Smith is very grateful. Your work and success has opened his eyes and mercilessly revealed his mistakes. Thank goodness that you were able to work things out. Now Mr. Smith and the employees in the park know how to take care of the animals in the future. Now there's no reason why we shouldn't open up the park. Mr. Smith has offered you uh, to stick around for a while and assume the honorable role of opening the park. Either accept this offer or continue to the next mission, whichever you desire. And we're actually going to continue to the next mission. So I will see you guys next time. I think we're starting to get the hang of this, figuring out that we have to have a chain of production to make sure that our animals have enough food and water. And we're starting to get the hang of making sure that the radius is uh, of all of our workers is in the right zones. So I'm excited to see what we're going to work on next and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.